Hello and welcome back to my channel Big Buds Gaming. In this video we've got two new mods I'm going to be looking at in Farming Simulator 19 today. It's the Jack Moose Mow It pack and the Jack Moose Mow It trailers. You'll find these under the vehicles section and under lawn mowers. There's three versions. There's the mulch which mows the grass and gets rid of it. There's the bag it version which has a optional bag to collect the grass. There's five different wheel options. There's an option for a roll bar. It says it's got underglow but I haven't actually noticed that But other than that, it's a really nice mod. There's a rear trailer hitch. And there's also a front loader option if you want it. <coughs> you can have lights on the roll bar as well. The one I've already got is the bag it version, which is this one. As you can see you've got the option with or without the front loader. And if you have the front loader on it, there is a plow attachment, which I'll show you. So there's the the mow it snow plow. You've got a good choice of colours and everything. So many colour options for this for this mod. So just gonna buy that. can angle it. I guess if you wanted to you could maybe do silage but I wouldn't think it's heavy enough. You can raise and lower the height of the roll bar. You can rotate the work lights that are on the roll bar too. If you press LB and A or L1 and X you can lower the mower and then turn it on with LB and X or L1 and square. It's a very nice, nice little lawnmower. I like it a lot. The engine sounds good too. So we'll switch it on. And there you can see it's mowing and it's leaving the grass behind because I haven't got the bag attached to it yet. I didn't actually know what category the bag was under so in the end I went to where you see all the list of manufacturers and I selected it from from there. Okay. 
So if you go to where it says 82's tools, next to the lawnmower, you'll see the little grass box. There's two capacities, a 350 litre or inflated, which will put it to 1500 litre capacity. Again, you've got your choice of all colours to match if you want. <coughs> I'm just going to make this all of the uh, new age JCB yellow to make match the mower. And there you see the capacity changes, so we'll have inflated. And then you just reverse up to it like if like it was a trailer and press the button to attach it and now it will collect all the grass until it's full the back part is technically it's a forage wagon because you don't need the lawnmower on it will if you turn the, the back box part on it will just pick up what you've already cut as you'll see so that's the grass box turned on and it's just collecting what i previously mowed Now I'm going to turn the mower on and it's going to be mowing and collecting at the same time. Just like that. And it's got such a tight turning circle you can go all the way around trees. So if you want to keep your lawns um, trimmed even in the tightest corner, you'll have no problem with this. No problem at all. And then when it's full, you can just unload it like that. I'd probably recommend emptying it into a silo. That's the horn. That is the strangest horn I've ever heard. <laughs> and this, this is a bit of an extreme test, but this is just to show that if you wanted to, you could... Uh, turn your cut grass into hay all in one now the mower itself is only five slots I think which makes it a lot cheaper uh, a lot lower lower in slots than the big crone mower which I think is 30 slots obviously it's not as wide, this cutting path isn't as wide, but if you're struggling on slot counts, a lawnmower like this is just perfect. And then if you go to where it says 82's logistics, you'll see the four, three or four new trailers that have been added. We've got trailer A, B and D. And I'm going to run through all the options with you. So you've got, again, most of the colour options 
so you can make your, all your equipment match. The design colour, you'll see what that changes in a second. There's the option of the gooseneck attacher, or you can have the bumper pull attacher. There's this tip side box. There's the option for a little petrol tank or gas tank on there as well. And then there's the enclosed option, and that's where the design colour comes in. And it took me a little bit of a faff getting to it because for some reason on console with the controller it wants to, when you go up, it wants to do something else. You've got three options of wheels, Nokian, Standard and Work. From my understanding in the mod hub description, the fuel tank is supposed to be functional, but I couldn't figure out how to make it work. Maybe I just needed to fill it up from a fuel station. That, that was the one thing I didn't do, but at no point did I get a refill option when I backed up to it. So I would assume if it does work, you would have to fill it first. And so here's the type A trailer in the three various specs. You've got your open flat low loader, your tip side box version and your fully enclosed. All these trailers have ratchet straps so you can tie down tools. There's the straps. And here we have the enclosed version. And I do like that. Plenty of room inside the back there <coughs> for your lawn mower or lawn mowers. And because it's got ratchet straps, you can also put, I would imagine you could put pallets in there. It looks wide enough for pallets. It's wide enough for the mower and that's quite a wide mower. It's got that little wide bit on the side. plenty of room in there. This is the Type B version and the options for it. So this is just for one individual lawnmower. Again, it's got the option of bumper pull or gooseneck. You've got three options of wheels, your work standard and Nokian. You've got the option for three liveries, 82's Logistics, John Deere, or Jack Moose. And with this small one, you also have the option to change the deck type 
or floor type. There's a few different metal finishes as well as wood. Again, the design colour merely paints the enclosure if you have that on. And this, I'll get to that in a second. Look at this one first. Perfect fit. And then trailer D has a cover on it. It's it says it's a tipper or tipper with gas tank. Again, gooseneck or bumper pool options. Paint it any colour you want, change the wheels. I don't think you can change the colour of the cover. I think the cover just stays black. There's even finishes, different finishes for the gas tanks too. You've got a diamond plate effect, you've got steel or a plastic. Liveries on that, you've got the Jack Moose, John Deere and the 82 statistics. I'm just going to have a quick look at this. Now if you unfold it, some little ramps come out. And then if you press, I think it's LB and left D-pad, that will unfold the cover. It also has ratchet straps. All these trailers fit these mowers perfectly. And something else I can show you quickly is when you strap something, when you strap the lawn mower down, the straps actually go around two parts of the mower itself, keeping it extra secure during transit. If you bring your grass box fully loaded to the Tippets trailer, you can unload your stuff in there and store it for later.